today's video, I'm going to share with you 10 easy ways to spice up your room for spring. I just thought that this would be a fun video to do to kick off the spring season. I'll be doing a ton of like spring room decor coming up soon, but this will be like my first spring video for your room. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and my Instagram and social media are in the description box down below. So follow me on there if you haven't already, and let's jump right into the tips. Tip number one is to update your bedding or your pillows, anything of that nature around your home or in your bedroom for spring is just a really simple and easy way to refresh and really change up your space. So I personally added some new pieces from a website called Indigo to Ash and they have an amazing selection on their website of just like bedding and pillows. They also have great furniture pieces if you're in the market for that. They're just like a really amazing site. So the first things that I added were I really wanted to switch up my bed. So as you see here, I kind of just made it more mature and added in some like gray textures. So the pillows that you're looking at now are the gray taupe Avaline velvet gray taupe pillows and I really like them because they're like a velvet gray but they have like the taupe linen along the sides and then I paired it with this one pillow in the front which is just the silken velvet silver pillow. These pillows do come in a pack of two. I personally have one on this bed and one in another area in my apartment. Then for the actual like coverlet of the bed that is the queen honeycomb in gray and I just love the different mixture of the textures that all of this gives on my bed. All of their bedding is really amazing and a super, super, super great quality. So then I also went in and just decluttered a lot of the pillows that I had on my couch. I wanted my couch to be way more minimal. So I just stuck with two of the pillows that are from Indigo to Ash. Pillows that I'm showing now are the Silken Velvet and they are in the teal color. I just absolutely love that really, really like bright, vibrant teal color that they give to my couch. And I actually partnered with Indigo to Ash on this video and they are currently running a five thousand dollar room makeover so pause this video right now the link will be in the description box for you guys to enter it is completely free to enter and it's really easy there's only a few steps and then there's a few extra steps that you can do to get bonus entries so I highly recommend entering that little giveaway that they are having as I said it'll be linked in the description box down below along with all of the other bedding and stuff that I showed from them as well tip number two is to move your bed and change the focal point of your room just like simply moving your bed around you can literally change the entire focal point of the room and it'll make your room look completely different. I personally have moved my bed a couple of times in this room since I've lived here so it kind of really definitely changed up my space and my room and just the way that it looked and it's kind of easy but I would recommend getting help just so you don't like hurt your back or anything. Number three is to refresh the paint in your room. Maybe instead of physically like painting your room a new color, you just wanna go around and take the same color that you already have and just do some touch up painting. I know for myself, I have a few like nicks and holes in the wall that I could use to just patch up and paint and you'd be surprised how much of a difference that will make just like refreshing the paint that you already have on your walls. Tip number four is to upcycle old furniture. I'll do an entire video on this when I can, when I can find some pieces to upcycle for you guys, but it's pretty simple. You don't even need like a sander you can use like a piece of sandpaper and just a new coat of paint and you'd be surprised how much you can like change up the furniture you already have just because furniture can be expensive so it might be an easier and cheaper alternative to just like upcycle what you already have or you can go ahead and like get little knobs from anthropology I've mentioned that before but really simple and affordable way to just like refresh what you already have Tip number five, I did this the other day, and that is just to move your furniture to different rooms. I know if you still live at home with your parents, they might get annoyed, but ask them before you do it. But just like switching out different furniture pieces can really change up your entire space, especially when you live in like a smaller apartment like me. My apartment's really tiny, so I like to refresh it and change things around pretty frequently. So just like moving different furniture pieces to different rooms will change up the space tremendously. Tip number six is to just go in your room and donate five items, like go through whatever's in your room or your apartment or your home and donate five things. Five to me isn't that much to get rid of and decluttering and getting rid of stuff is another great way to just like switch up your space. So I highly recommend you after watching this video take five things out of your room and donate them. Also it's always great to like donate things and give them to other people who may be in need. Number seven is to add plants. I personally love going with like faux plants. Some people like real ones for me just in my space. It's a lot harder to maintain real ones just because of the way that the lighting comes in. Maybe in my next space I'll be able to have um, more like real plants because I would really love to get some. But I will have an entire like DIY plants video coming up soon. A lot of you guys have been requesting that so I will have that coming up. 
Tip number eight is just to remove a piece of furniture from your room. You'd be surprised how much you can like open up your space or you may have a piece of furniture that just isn't functional anymore. You don't really like it. So just by getting rid of one piece of furniture that is already in your space can also be an easy, simple way to switch up your space. Tip number nine is to store away any seasonal pieces that you have or maybe there's a couple things in your room that you want to keep that are decor pieces but you just don't want them out for this season. You can just store them away. A great way to do that is just to go to a store and get those like under bed storages that's a great way to just kind of like refresh and I would just put everything in there and slide it under your bed and no one will even know that it's there. Tip number 10 would be to declutter your walls. My walls are currently pretty decluttered but I find that a major thing that I suffered with when I was younger is I had like a bunch of just stuff on the walls that did not need to be there so if you declutter your walls that can change up the entire space maybe you have some old posters that you want to take down or some photos that you had hanging up that you want to just like maybe take them down and put into frames simple things like that will really change up your space so those were my 10 tips i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to check out indigo to ash i will have that contest linked in the description box down below subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye